Good morning guys, I am going to be doing a 24 hours with a baby video today. Um, I'm going to be showing you all the diaper changes, the feeding, and of course all the fussiness. I will be raw and real, I'm going to show you guys you know, what it actually is like being home with Hunter. And you know, she, she's a pretty chill baby. She's very laid back, she rarely ever cries, but sometimes she does get fussy and sometimes she has her moments. So you will be seeing all of that. We do exclusively pump, so she does eat from a bottle, it is breast milk, and uh, so you're going to be seeing that today too, you're going to kind of see what my pumping schedule is like. Um, I did just stash away in the freezer my last pump session. Um, so I'm trying to build up my supply a little bit more uh, just so that when she's a little bit older and we go someplace, you know, whoever's watching her has enough milk to feed her. So I'm currently um, cleaning some of my pump equipment and then um, the baby girl is in the bedroom with her dad. Um, we did feed her a bottle and we did change her diaper. So he brought her into the bed with us. We just do like a morning cuddle basically. And uh, we all take a little morning nap together. So that's what I'm gonna do the second I finish cleaning my pump supplies. The so baby girl is sleeping through the night now, which has been great. Um, I still get up in the middle of the night to pump. And then um, I will dream feed her at 5 a.m. because she tends to be asleep. So I do feed her at that time. Um, she was waking up at that time because the last few times she hasn't been. So I've been dream feeding her then. And that's essentially when they're still asleep and you feed them. Just so you can kind of give them enough calories to carry them over so they sleep a little bit later. They wake up a little bit later in the morning. Um, but if I didn't do that, she would sleep through the night. So, um, you know, just doing that little dream feed just so that we can kind of push when she wakes up in the morning because like I said, I am waking up in the middle of the night to pump. So if I didn't have her sleeping a little bit in the morning, then I would be exhausted. I do have her on a bit of a routine now. I try not to make it too strict. I really try to go with the flow with it because obviously it's going to be dependent on her and how she's feeling each day. So it can fluctuate the times that she's eating, the times she's waking up, napping, things like that. Um, so I try not to stress if it's not exactly how I'd like it to be. But for the most part, she stays on a pretty good routine. And I don't even like to call it a schedule. I call it a routine. Um, so we kind of try to keep a good routine with her. So she'll, you know, she'll wake up around like 8 o'clock and we'll feed her then. And then um, I have her on like the 8, 11 to 5, 8 schedule. So that's like typically the time frame that she is eating. So she does eat every three hours. If I feel like she needs to get more of a nap in, then I'll push it or stretch it to four hours um, because she is at a good weight and she's gaining weight very well. So I don't have to worry or stress if she isn't eating exactly at three hours on the dot. So that's just kind of what we've been doing right now. That's what's working for us. But like I said, sometimes that changes, sometimes that fluctuates. Um, for the most part, she wakes up at the same time because her body is, you know, it's developed that clock to wake up at that time. So it's been really good. She's, she's, um, she's been a great baby. So tired. I can't punch him, so <laughs> I need some coffee, and then we're gonna go wake up baby.
Let me see if I have beautiful eyes. Hmm. Hello. Hello, world. Have you got a drink? So oh, Hunter just learned how to grab things this week. Can I have my hair back? Thank you. <laughs> nice little snort. So Sean went into work and he's actually going to be working late tonight, so um, he went into work late, and he's going to be working late tonight. So he handled the first bottle and the first diaper for me this morning. Brought her into bed for morning cuddles, and then all three of us napped. Well, you know, we napped while she napped. At least I napped. She just went back to bed. But <laughs> um, I napped, and um, you know, we're, we're feeding her for her 11 o'clock bottle. Really? You're gonna have to burp though. She always gets so angry when we take the bottle away and you have to burp her. That's when she puts up the most fight, so. I'm trying so hard not to give in. Most of the time she'll just burp like right away with me, but sometimes she just cries and I'm like, ah, I don't wanna give in. But it's hard when they cry. Cause you just love them so much, you never like to hear them sad. Ready? Okay. Come on. Oh, that's really baby. Come on. Oh. I think you just burped. I saw it like you burped. Did you just burp for mommy? Okay. Okay. There you go. Yay! More food. Yeah. We're gonna go for a walk. We got you in this cute little elephant outfit. Yeah. Grabbing everything these days, huh? You're just grabbing Ow. everything. Yeah. yeah. You know, you're too small. All your clothes are so small now. Stop growing! I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Is that peanut? Is that peanut? So this is her outfit for today and now I'm going to get myself ready. I'm going to take her for a little walk. I'm uh, probably going to burn my portable pumps and actually pump while I walk. Um, Because I'm just going around my, you know, just around the block and uh, I really don't care if anyone sees me with the pumps and the shirts. So we took the jeans off Peanut because... They were clearly too tight for her. They are pushing into her belly, and I know she'll be uncomfortable once she's sitting in the car seat. So, she's just going in a onesie today. I put her in the spring for now so I can get things together before I walk. Um, her eyebrows are so red, and that usually means that she's about to pass out. So, I'm going to have to move fast. All right, so while I'm walking with her, I am going to pump, like I mentioned before, um, because, you know, mom life, just, we got to multitask. 
and I am going to be using the portable pump from Mom Cozy, the S12. If you guys want me to do a review on it, I will. Um, I will say in the beginning, I liked the fact that it was convenient, but I wasn't sure how it was going to be because I was only getting two ounces out when I pumped, when I normally pump a lot more than that. Uh, but yesterday when I was using them and I was out and about, I gradually was increasing the intensity of the pump as I was going through the session and it really made a difference. I was able to pump six ounces out on one boob alone. So, I think that's the key. I think the key is to increase the level that you are on as you go along so that you can get more milk out. Very important for anyone who is exclusively pumping, uh, before you put your boob in a flange of any sort, this is my tip, put this nipple balm on. You want to put this nipple balm on. Um, this is from Bamboobies. It is nipple balm and this has saved my nipples from getting chapped, um, from any breakage, from, you know, bleeding, cracking, anything like that. I am very on top of keeping it moisturized. So it's very smooth. It goes on like butter. And the best part about it is that it's organic. So you don't have to worry about wiping it off. You can Put it on and you can pump and you don't have to worry about it going into your milk or your baby having it because it's not a danger to them so this is my little mom tip i will link it for you guys down below because it's so great i definitely recommend it so this is the side profile with them in a nursing bra uh they do kind of look like bombs in your shirt so i probably wouldn't wear them in like public areas with a lot of people, just be on the safe side, people. Uh, but the just sit in your nursing bra like this, the motor's on top, and then they have the round balls in right there. So the girls just pump inside, and then when you're done, you have a cup this way full of milk. So I think what I'm gonna do since. I have a feeling she just passed out. No, she's sleeping. Alright, so now that she's asleep, I guess what I'll do is I will pump and I will finish my coffee. I'll probably eat something since I haven't had a chance to eat yet. And then we will go on our walk later when she's up because I do like when she's awake, then she can see everything that's outside. So um, while she takes her nap, I'm gonna go ahead and do all those things. Maybe put a little bit of face on and then we'll take our walk later. about to be two o'clock. I'm gonna wake up the baby now to feed her because she slept two hours, which is really good. Uh, this is typically when she takes her longest nap and she does sleep for two hours. Some days though, she'll be more cranky and she it gets overtired and then she's not able to go down as long. And she'll just sleep for like 40 minutes or 30 minutes and just in smaller intervals. And that can kind of throw off her whole day. So I'm really glad that she slept the full two hours that she normally does for her nap. Her bow is falling off her head. I'm just gonna take this off now. We just started putting bows on her this week because her head has been so small that it doesn't fit. Um, these bows are pretty big. But, you know. She's like, Mom, enough, just feed me. Okay, okay. Here you go, Mama. Ready? 
I swear, every time they wake up from a nap or a sleeping, it's like they grew. Oh no, you scratched your knee. So she's currently eating four ounces, and then when she gets to two ounces, I burp her. You gonna burp for mommy? We're gonna go out for a walk. Yeah. Right? Oh my goodness, you with my hair today. Mm. Yeah. sleepy on me huh yeah look at those brows oh you're getting you're getting tired huh peanut you ready you ready to go chubba wubba you got your bow on yeah i think you're ready now typically just take Hunter around the block. There's a nice little path. So I just kind of go around the complex and she enjoys it. She seems to sleep better too when we take her on walks or when at least, at least when we get her outside, she sleeps a lot better. But she sometimes doesn't like the bumps. She'll make like a face like, what was that? Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, you got your little fox. She absolutely loves this little lovey that her godmother got her. She's been using it a lot more this last the last few days, I want to say, she's been using it a lot more just because she's starting to grab hold of things. And whenever we're putting her to sleep, she always holds on to our shirt collar. And then she'll also grab onto her own shirt, I notice. So I gave her the levy. I was going to wait until she was a little bit older, but I gave her the levy so that she has something to grab onto when she falls asleep. I obviously don't let her sleep with that in the crib, but she really enjoys a little lovely. She fell asleep when we were on our walk, but then as soon as we came inside, she woke up. So I just put her down in the crib, baby monitor. I'm going to see if maybe she dozes off. So I just kind of left her in there to see if she dozes off. 
um, so I'll check on her in a couple minutes. So she does go to sleep and that would be perfect because then I can kind of get started on dinner. Um, so it's 3.10 right now, her next battle is at 5. And um, I'm alone for dinner tonight because Sean's going to be working late. And I'm going to be making some um, Italian wedding soup. So I got to like make the meatballs and um, the rest of it is very quick, very easy. It's the meatballs that take a little bit of time. So if she goes down now, I can prepare the meatballs and that all I have to do later is cook them. So, it's 3.15 now, it's been 5 minutes, I just checked on her, and uh, she's asleep. I checked on her because I saw that her bow was falling down, and it was like covering her eyes. So obviously I wanted to take that off, because I don't want that to like slip down her face and like cover her nose or her mouth. So, um, I took it off, and I checked on her, and she is asleep. So obviously I'm going to monitor her. I usually don't give her a pacifier with a lanyard on it for bed. So when she's napping in the swim, I'll do that. But typically when she's in the crib and she's laying down, I don't have a pacifier clip on. Um, usually in the crib, we just give her like her nighttime binkies. And those are the ones that we keep in the crib. But since that one was already in her mouth, I'm going to wait for that one to naturally fall out. And then I'll just do a little switcheroo. Now I can get started on my dinner. So I'm going to just prep. Welcome to my kitchen. I put my hair up, got it out of the way. Ooh, this is a little Cindy Lou Who type of bun. Kind of rocking it, great. So, I have all my ingredients laid out in front of me. I have ground chicken. I have some eggs. I have Italian breadcrumbs, some Parmesan cheese, pepper, fresh parsley. So we are going to make some meatballs for Italian wedding soup. Sometimes she goes back to sleep, but she's flailing her arms a little bit. So I don't know that she's gonna put herself back down. And because she's flailing, she's like, Oh, yeah, she's up. <laughs> she's like having little conversations. All right, let's go get her. Hello. Hello, little miss. Are you having conversations with the shadows? Who are you talking to? Huh? Who are you talking to? You want to go play in your play gym? You want to go play in your play gym? Uh, yeah? Okay, yeah. let's go. This face. Look at this face. Say hi. Say hi. Say hello, my name's Hunter. Are you excited? So I'm going to go back into the kitchen, 
the good thing is she's right in my earshot so I can hear her um, but she's just playing away so we're gonna let her play doing in here sweet girl huh? how are you doing in here are you having fun playing are you having fun playing yeah mm, so cute even though she's gonna be wide awake. She's starting to doze off a little bit, but then every now and then she's opening her eyes. Like right now. Oh gosh, look at what you're doing, mommy's posture. I'm like the hunchback of Notre Dame. You're right there. Hello, little miss. You wanted mama? Okay. <sighs> Are you happy now? Mm. Mm. So I did finish my meatballs. And she just wants cuddles right now. Right? I just want cuddles for mama. It is um, almost 4.30, so I'll have the meatballs cook now. And then uh, we'll feed the little miss here. And then she typically will take her nap before her bath time in the swim. Usually she doesn't take that one in the morning in the swing that one's typically um I'll do that in the crib but um you know since I needed to put her down for a second and she happened to fall asleep there I let her be so um we're just gonna finish making dinner and um you know I would put her in the wrap but it has been very hot and I don't want her to get overheated. Uh, I myself feel like the two of us together give off a lot of heat when I'm wearing the wrap. So I probably will use that in the fall time and like the cooler seasons, just cause right now for summer, it's a little much to wear the Sally wrap. I'm gonna watch mommy finish making dinner. And then we'll go to your bottle. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Look at you with your head up by yourself. My girl is so strong. Mm -hmm. 
So I have my Italian wedding soup and some shows in my DVR to watch. And then Hunter's right here beside me in her lounger. So typically nap either in the lounger, in the swim, or in her crib. So I don't always put her in the crib for her naps because I do want her to kind of get used to napping and multiple types of places in case we ever travel she's not only used to sleeping in her crib she absolutely loves the lounger she likes the way that it feels like someone's holding her when she's sleeping it's really great because that we can take with us everywhere we can travel with that so she can always have a little piece at home um, and i see that her diaper has the blue line which means i have to change her diaper but that's fine because my soup is very hot and it needs to cool down anyway. So I just fed Hunter her last bottle of the night. Um, she typically sleeps through the 11.31, um, which is what I showed you in the beginning of the video from last night. Um, so her 11 bottle is typically her last bottle, but this is the last one for the night because she goes down and then she gets a dream feed at that time. So I'm going to give her a bath now. Got some bubbles in your tub this time. Let's test this water. Perfect. I'm gonna go fast. Yeah, honey girl. Put this in the pad, scrub it up, don't. I'm gonna hold the comb. How's that? Huh? How's that, Mama? A is for Adora. We fill my days with endless joy. B is for bedtime when we put away our toys. C is for cozy in a warm bubble tub. D is for ducky as you scrub a dub dub. Peekaboo! <laughs> Alright guys, so Hunter is down and she's asleep right now in her crib. I just finished up cleaning the kitchen and I also pumped. Um, I had to charge my camera so I wasn't able to get that on film for you guys. But I did clean up the kitchen and I did pump as well as put Hunter to bed which is the last thing that you saw. Now I don't use my Mom Cozy portable pumps 
for the overnight pump sessions. I only use my Spectra, which I showed you guys in my bedroom last night. Um, so when I was doing my pumping last night and this morning at 5 a.m., I do all of that in the bedroom with my Spectra pump. So I'll show you guys how I have my nightstand station all set up. So this is my nightstand. This is how it looks at night. I keep my pumping tools over here. I have my bamboo bee cream, uh, you know, placed in the back of my pump, so I keep it like that. I have some motion pads there. Um, I do have my hacker, but that's more so in the morning. And then I have um, a storage container if I, you know, don't feel like running these to the kitchen, I'll put the milk in there and then store that in the freezer or the fridge. Um, I have tons just because I get acid reflux really bad at night. So I have tons just so that I don't have to go in and out of my drawer. Um, but I typically just leave that out on my nightstand. And then I have um, the remote for the fan, um, the fan is over on Sean's side, but in the middle of the night when I have to pump and my shirt is off, I get really cold, so I have the fan control, and I control it. Um, and then this is the bottle that I'm going to be feeding her at 11, so um, I just pumped this, so that can stay out for at least four hours, and then of course, I got my water, because you gotta stay hydrated, I try to drink a ton of water a day. I have a couple apps that help me with that. And then this is just my my eye watch. And this is where I put my phone at night. So yeah, that is my station. Alright guys, I am going to sign the video off here. I hope that you enjoyed spending 24 hours with Hunter and myself. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below if you have any questions or if there's any particular content that you guys are interested in seeing on my channel. Drop a comment below and let me know. If you are new, welcome. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you consider subscribing. Turn on your post notification bell so you always get notified when I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, stay golden people. Bye! Thank you.